What's going on, guys? Quan Alexander, former Jet, back in the league, but not with Gang Green. Quan agreed to a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers pending a physical. Have not seen the financials yet. And I've said on this channel for a while two things about the Quan situation. Number one, I think he would make the Jets better and deeper, and I think a one-year, two, two-and-a-half million dollar deal would be well worth it uh, to bring in Quan. The second part of that, uh, Jamie and Sherwood, who has a super limited sample size, um, I thought he played pretty decent last year against Buffalo. His tackling uh, was definitely on display. If you're going to be a team worth your salt, you have to be able to turn your fifth round picks by year three into sub package rotational players, which linebacker three essentially is the New York Jets. They're in nickel um, two thirds of the time. And so it looks like Sherwood season now. And then beyond that, if you're going to make Quan linebacker four, linebacker four or five are going to be reserved for developmental players who play special teams, right? Zaire Barnes. And I'm looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers depth chart really quick. Seems like uh, Quan is going to get a bigger opportunity to play there. So it, it's no factor. Like I wanted him here, but <laughs> the outcry that's likely going to come from Jets Nation, I don't think is super warranted. Again, you, you have to develop your young players and give them a shot at some point. If you look at the Kansas City Chiefs roster, it's just chock full of these second, third round picks they've been developing. Um, so we'll see what Jamie and Sherwood has. I, I'll say this. I like his tackling and I like his ability, the length and tackling outside of his frame is really impressive to me. He looks super big and physical in camp. Uh, I have massive question marks about his coverage. Not saying he can't do it. I'm just saying I haven't seen him really be able to do it. So we'll see. But I do wonder if he is going to be the, you know, the third linebacker this year. And then really the heir apparent to CJ Mosley, uh, because he's been the backup to CJ for a while. And then you know, the Jets don't want to be, not that I'm kicking CJ out, but they're not going to be paying CJ Mosley, you know, at $20 million forever as he's on the wrong side of 30. So I wonder if Sherwood is the uh, replacement Mike linebacker there. If you want to talk about another way the Jets can solve this running back dilemma, if they bring in Dalvin Cook, you can check that out down below. Subscribe if you're new and we'll talk all soon.